On 20th August, we celebrate the birth anniversary of a remarkable political figure the Dhevraj Aras, former Chief Minister of Karnataka. Let's explore his milestones, achievements, and lasting influence on the state. For captivating content on political history, hit subscribe and ring the bell icon. Let's dive in. Born in 1915 in Kallahalli, which was part of the then Mysore province, Aras played a significant role in shaping the state's political landscape. He actively participated in the Quit India movement, gaining recognition for his leadership skills and commitment to the cause. His younger brother, Kempiraj Aras, was a star actor in the Kannada film industry during the 40s and 50s. Dhevraj Aras entered politics in 1952 and was elected as a member of the State Legislative Assembly, marking the start of his political journey. Aras aligned himself with the Indian National Congress and rose through its ranks. He became part of the intra-party syndicate of powerful regional leaders. In 1969, when the Congress party split into Congress, O and Indira Gandhi led Congress, R, Aras supported Indira Gandhi and joined her faction. He won all 27 seats in the 1971 Lok Sabha elections and led Congress, R, to victory in the 1972 Legislative Assembly elections in Karnataka. Consequently, Aras became the Chief Minister of Karnataka for the first time in 1972 and held office for the full term till 1977. In January 1978, as the Congress party split once again, Aras aligned with Congress, I, led by Indira Gandhi. The newly formed party won the assembly elections held in February 1978, leading to Aras' appointment as the chief minister for the second term. However, by 1979, differences arose between Aras and Indira Gandhi, prompting him to part ways with Congress I. He joined the other faction of the Congress, known as Congress S. Despite this shift, Aras retained his position as Chief Minister as many MLAs joined him in his new political journey. During this period, the faction that supported Aras even took on the name Congress Aras briefly, underscoring his leadership within the faction. The political landscape shifted again in the 1980 Lok Sabha elections when Aras' faction managed to secure just one seat in Karnataka. Unfortunately, most of the MLAs who had previously supported Aras left his camp to rejoin Indira Gandhi's Congress, I, causing him to lose his position as Chief Minister. Consequently, Gundu Rao became Chief Minister in January 1980. In response to these developments, Aras took a bold step. In 1982, a few months before his death, he founded a new political party called Karnataka Kranti Ranga. Aras' tenure as Chief Minister was marked by Revolutionary Land Reforms Act that redistributed land ownership, empowering the underprivileged and diminishing the influence of dominant castes in local politics. Aras' decision of abolition of carrying night soil by Dalits marked a pivotal step towards social equality and dignity. He established hostels for the students of backward and minority classes, providing them opportunities for education and empowerment. His implementation of these progressive measures to empower the underprivileged and marginalized rightfully earned him the title of the champion of backward classes. He also made history by renaming Mysore to Karnataka, a significant milestone that reflected his vision for the state's identity and unity. He was the voice of the poor and stood for the cause of the downtrodden in society. Aras was elected continuously from Hunasuru as an MLA for 28 years and holds the record of the longest-serving Chief Minister of Karnataka. On 6 June 1982, Aras passed away, leaving behind a legacy of progressive leadership and social reforms. As we celebrate his birth anniversary, we are reminded of the inspiring journey of Dhevraj Aras. His story highlights the potential of one determined individual to shape history and create a better future for his fellow men.